Hi everyone, welcome to Cairo's House. Today we're going to be looking around this Castelli Midway short sleeve jersey. Hi guys, let's look around this jersey. So let's pop it open. Um, just show you the back first. It is a mid-weight short sleeve jersey, men's in a large. It comes in a nice foil packet, like normal. And let's take it out. Let's bung the packet away. And we can see it is a nice dark gray color. I haven't got any dark gray um, tops. So this will be the first one. Uh, first off, it's it feels smooth, really smooth. Um, kind of reminds me of a aero race bib short material. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. So uh, let's tell you a bit about it. <coughs> it uses X stretch fabric with a lightly brushed back, keeping the warmth in whilst letting the sweat out. Apparently. So, um, it's got a nice fade. Just lift that up a little bit. I've tried to lay it out. Uh, just do that. So I've tried to lay it out so it looks like that. At the moment, just come down here. And that is the bottom. So, just put everything down again. Oops, nearly went over the edge there. So we've got apparently a midweight warmer x stretch brushed fabric brushed fabric um yeah that's kind of not the, exactly the same but kind of similar to uh inside of leg warmers and arm warmers but but a much thinner version it's ideal for cool conditions with or without a vest apparently it has got drop pockets on the back, which are here. Yep, down by the bottom. Reflective heat transfer high vis strips down at the bottom there. Fantastic. And the suggested temperature range of this is 15 to 22 degrees. Uh, it'll be a long way before it's 15 degrees over here. So we've got Russell Corsa on the back. We've got a Printed into the fabric, Castelli logo. We've got Castelli down the arms with this uh, kind of stripy pattern. On the back, it's the same. Let's just do that and then you have a look. So the back of it is uh, kind of this grey with a nice pattern in it. It just, I just thought it would be cool. I haven't got one like that, so that was pretty much the sole reason of buying it. I noticed this red inside, and I'm not sure exactly why, but it's kind of red, and it's got a gripper at the back there, full length gripper on the on the back, round by your bum, where it's going to grip you. Um, we've got the massive. Uh, tag inside and as usual it's 30 degrees do not use softener do not bleach tumble dry only put it in the shade do not iron do not dry clean pretty much don't do anything that will damage it so inside we've got made in italy mm, that's quite interesting because most of the stuff are, seems to be made in romania or bulgaria or something so um i haven't seen made in italy on my stuff for a while which is cool. So we're looking here. Ah, and we've got some stuff. A neck, or the zip neck protector. A, zin, a zip zen asymmetric collar stops the top of the zip irritating your neck or getting caught in your beard, if you've got a beard. What happens if you're a girl? Because they love a beard, I suppose. But let's just chuck that on the ground. Let's do it back up. And let's see, oh, that's a, quite a cool zip. It's got a red Castelli thing on it. That makes it easy to grip. He says trying to do it on the wrong way. 
Wow, that's easy to do up zip. Okay, so we've got inside, you can see all the way down behind the zip is this uh, protector. Let me just um, pull it inside out so we can see how far down that goes. Okay, so it goes down pretty much what, a hand span, probably. Two hands, one and a half hands uh, down just to protect you there. Yeah, that is really nice uh, brushed material on the inside there, right. That will keep me warm uh, for cooler conditions. I like it. Do the arm do the arms have a gripper on the end, or are they then they don't have a gripper. So the end of the arms do not have a gripper on the inside. There's no gripper around the whole of the jersey, just the back. So this is the front of the inside, and this is the back. So it's only in the back. Okay, but that is um, quite nice actually on the inside. I'm quite impressed. I haven't got one like this. Usually I just buy summer jerseys and put a uh, thermal underneath. But um, no, I'd be interested to see what this one is like. Really, uh, you can see that it's kind of woolly up there. I shouldn't eat oranges before I do videos. Anyway. Um, so flat lot stitching again all the way looks normal Castelli high high um high end stitching that is pretty cool I'm quite impressed to be fair let's just get around the front just pulling it all back round okay so it's stretchy as normal, it's a race cut or a race fit jersey. It's got a high collar as well, which I like. I'm not really into the low, like the, um, not the aero, yeah, probably the aero race stuff. It's got a V-neck. I'm not really into a V-neck, but uh, not, um, not for me anyway. And as you can see, it's higher one side than it is the other to allow this flap, I think, and probably so you don't get it caught. That's quite interesting detail. The neck is higher on that side. Okay, so I've had a little look around that. What we're gonna do is just fold it, fold it up and weigh it. Three pockets on the back, as you can see. No um, drain holes. So let's just bring in the Bring in the little scales, zero them up, and we have 194, 194 grams on the scales, don't that be cool? It's kind of, that fabric is weird, I haven't felt anything like it, it's very strange, but it's going to be good. So. That's the jersey. A quick look at the Castelli Midweight short sleeve jersey, 2020. It's just come out, so I bought it. Last look, there it is. I like it. I'm going to wear that maybe the next time I actually go cycling, which should be great. So, thanks for watching. That's Kairos House. Take care, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye.